Greetings, beloved. I pray today that God would give his life and light to many by way of his word. I pray that many would believe that the light has come into the world, not only to reveal truth, but to expose darkness, that many would be made sons and daughters of the true God. As children of God, I pray that we would shed abroad the light that is in each of us, as much as within us, whether it be a candle flame or a roaring blaze. Amen. To God be the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Today's message is titled, The Light of the World. First, Christ, the true light. First things first. There is no life without light. Scripture declares that Christ is not only the Word, but God, and He is the light of the world. The light in a darkened world, dark because of sin, dark because of the rejection of the true light that gives light and life to all men. John chapter 1, verses 1 through 5 says thus, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. And in Him was life, and the life was the light of man. And the light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Christ is the source of life and light. He gives and sustains your physical life, and by grace through faith, he imparts eternal life. Amen? John chapter 10, verses 27 to 28. Christ, speaking to the Jews in the temple, says thus, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. John chapter 11, verse 25, Christ speaking to Martha. Scripture says thus, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. John chapter 14 verse 6 Christ speaking to Thomas scripture says thus Jesus saith unto him I am the way the truth and the life no man cometh unto the father but by me light represents spiritual truth holiness and purity things pertaining to God whereas darkness represents sin falsehoods, twisting or perverting the truth, things related to Satan. John chapter 8, verses 43 to 47, says thus, Why do ye not understand my speech? Even because ye cannot hear my word, ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Which of you convinceth me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do ye not believe me? He that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. Light. Spiritual truth cannot be understood by those without light. Christ. Vice versa. Life cannot exist in one who has not the light, the revealed truth of Christ, the Word. John chapter 5, chapter 5 verses 18 through 20, says thus, we know 
that whosoever is born of God sinneth not. But he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not. And we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. And we know that the Son of God is come, and hath given us an understanding, that we may know him that is true, and we are in him that is true, even in his Son, Jesus Christ, that is the true God and eternal life. Possessing life hinges on possessing Christ, yet possessing Christ hinges on possessing life that he is. Thus, the connecting factor to both is faith. Believing in this light that has come into the world. Amen. John chapter 1, verses 9 through 12 says thus That was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Let me pause here to say. This is not saying that every man is saved or will be saved, but that God reveals enough light, enough of himself, that man ought to seek after him and that he is without excuse. When they do not seek after him. For in Romans 1, 18 to 20, scripture says thus, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all unrighteousness and unrighteousness of man who hold the truth in unrighteousness because that which may be known of God is made manifest, is manifest in them. For God hath showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Continuing in John 1, verse 10 now. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them he to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. John chapter 3, verses 18 through 19 says thus, He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned All already. Then properly placed, attorney calls may be monitored and recorded. Because he believeth, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. The goal of this message is to speak of the true light, not of darkness, but we mustn't ignore its existence, especially as light bearers, as we are to come against it and by the word of our testimony, bring others out of darkness into the light and the Spirit gives us utterance. Amen. John chapter 9, verse 5, Christ speaking to his disciples says thus, As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. John chapter 12, verse 46 says thus, I am come a light into the world that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. God was the source of light in the beginning, simply speaking it into existence, and in doing so, he spoke away the darkness. That was in verse 2. Genesis 1, verse 3 says thus, And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Our Lord, who is the source of light at the start, of the world will be the source of light at the start of the rest of eternity. Revelations 21 
verses 22 and 23 says thus, And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb, Lamb are the temple of it. And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon to shine in it, for the glory of God did light in it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. Number two, saints are the light in the world. John chapter 8, verse 12 says thus, Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Recall that light reveals those things that are, or that were, hidden. And as children of light, darkness has been removed. To know the Lord Jesus is he that follows him. We know the Lord as Savior, as Lord, as God in the flesh. The true light, the truth, the truth of his person has been revealed to us, and we believe. John chapter 1 verse 14 says thus, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. We believe. First Timothy three verse sixteen says thus, and without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world received up in glory we believe amen first john chapter 2 verses 3 through 5 we know him scripture says thus and hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments he that saith i know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him but whoso keepeth his word in him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. He that saith he abides in him are himself also to walk, even as he walked. To walk as our Lord walked is to be a light unto the world while we are in it. Amen. To walk as our Lord walked is to glorify our Father who is in heaven. Amen. This speaks to true followers of Christ. Whenever Christ spoke of his followers, it was in connection with those who worshiped in spirit and in truth, a lifestyle that united one's words. Not the individual who follows for a time, nor the individual who does not keep the word of God. John chapter six, verses 66, 63, to 66 the disciples who left scripture says thus it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profiteth nothing the words that I speak unto you they are spirit and they are life but there are some of you that believe not for Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him and he said therefore said I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father from that time many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him first john chapter 2 verse 19 gives us their reason for their departure scripture says thus they went out from us but they were not of us for if they had been of us they would no doubt have continued with us but they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. Children of light. First Thessalonians 5.5 5. Ye are children, ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. This speaks of us being children of God who is light and thus the source of all other light any light 
any good and righteous act in the believer flow from him. Amen. James chapter 1 verse 17 says thus, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of light, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. In the American Heritage Dictionary, shadow speaks of darkness, speaks of an imperfect copy. God is light, and in him there is no darkness. First John 1 and 5. Malachi 3, 6 says, He changes not. Amen. Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 to 16. Don't hide the light. Ye are the light of the world. The city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. Let your light be so inviting that it opens the doors of hearts that were once closed and held no light, but are now willing to let your light in that they may partake in the warmth of it. Amen. Philippians 2 verse 15 says thus, that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world. Because light reveals, it exposes the differences from one thing and another. Thus, as lights in the world, children of God, we ought to shine the light of Christ in every place revealing as followers of Christ. We have been made new, and our appetite is now for the things that glorify our Heavenly Father. Amen? I'd like to end with this. John, chapter 12, verses 35 and 36 speaking to the people then Jesus said unto them All get a little while properly placed attorney calls may be monitored and recorded get a little while is the light with you walk while ye have the light lest darkness come upon you for he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whether he goeth while ye have light believe in the light that ye may be the children of light these things spake Jesus and departed and did hide himself from them. Let Christ be hidden no more from you, but let him be revealed completely unto you that you may be sons and daughters of him. Amen. Father God, we thank you for the light. Thank you for revealing the Lord Jesus. Thank you for removing the darkness that we may understand. Father, may your spirit lead us to shine brightly in the world. One minute remaining. Not for the sake of being noticed, but to light the way to you, Father. How thankful I am to be used by you. May you receive all the honor, praise, and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. They first took off his clothes. Then they took long leather thongs with steel pellets or lead pellets on the end and beat him across the back until he could hardly stand up. Then they put a crown of thorns on his brow and his face was bleeding. And they laughed at him and they spit on him and they mocked him. And with one snap of his finger, 72,000 angels had already drawn their swords ready to come to his rescue and wipe this planet out of existence in the universe. And Jesus said, no, to this end was I born. He wasn't just another revolutionary. He wasn't just another hippie. He was not just another great man. He was God in the flesh. And oh, the ethics that he taught. Never a man spake like that man. When you get hit on one side, he says, turn the other cheek. 
He never said what to do after that. But he did say, forgive 70 times seven, count that up. Jesus taught that we're to forgive. He taught a revolution in the way we're to live. He taught us that it wasn't just our outward actions that God judges, but it's the inward thoughts and intents. And he dragged and lifted and hauled that cross. He didn't squirm, he didn't yell, he didn't scream. He just took it and said, Lord, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. When he died on that cross, they nailed him. They put the nails in his hands. And you know what he said? Forgive them. They know not what they do. Forgive them. Could you forgive somebody that's putting nails in your hands and you know you didn't deserve it? Then look at the death he died. Did ever a man die like Jesus? The lightning flashed and the thunder roared and the earth began to shake. And even the soldiers confessed that this must be the Son of God. Anyone that can see Jesus on that cross and not be touched has a heart of stone. And then, on the cross, he said, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And then he dropped his head and said, it's finished. What did he mean? He meant your plan of salvation was finished. God can now forgive you of all your sins because Jesus had finished God's plan for your salvation. Because you see, God knows every one of you by name. He has the hairs of your head numbered. 